Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I don't know if any of you are aware, but you can make your own spiroglyphics pictures and it's really, really easy. <laughs> you just use a website called Spiral Betty. I have known about this for a few months, just never got around to making this video. And now I see that she has been out on Instagram a lot. So you may have seen or may not have seen some of her posts, um, but I wanted to show you how to go about making your own pictures. Now, of course, you're not gonna wanna use anything detailed. Um, it's going to have to be kind of a, a bigger, plainer image. So, this is one of my doggy Bella. And you can make her out pretty good. This is Maddie. So, this is my granddaughter. And again, I think it turned out pretty cute. Another one I did. This is a huge hibiscus flower that when I lived at my other house, my next door neighbor had. The plant itself, the stalks were taller than me and each flower was bigger than my hand. I mean, it was beautiful pink. They were just gorgeous. And I took a picture of them. So I kind of cropped the picture down and I used it. So another pretty one. Now, this is the image that I'm going to use to show you how to do it. So this is, I didn't color this. <laughs> I'm not that good. Um, but this is how it could turn out. Now I'm going to show you how you can not get this many rings. I do not do it that fine and detailed as you can see. Of course, the more rings you do, the more detailed the better the picture turns out. But to me, this would be almost impossible to color. <laughs> so I did it and that's how it turned out. So a lot less rings than this. So you don't see quite the detail, of course, but I think it still turned out okay. Now, when they're not colored in, this is what they look like. So these are two different pictures and I can't remember which ones I made. But let me show you how to go about doing this. Now you can do this on your computer, you can do it on a tablet, you can actually do it on your phone. And that's how I did mine. I created it on my phone. You do have to have a picture loaded either on your laptop. I'm going to show it on um, a separate iPad that I have because I'm using my big iPad that I always use to, I have a link to my phone so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so this is one of my smaller iPads. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So I do have this butterfly image that I used. It was a free graphic off of the internet. Um, so I'm going to show you how I made this spiral to color in. So let's go to, we're going to go to Safari. I don't want to have you guys see it. Okay, so let me zoom in some. Okay, so you're going to come to this page, okay? Let me get centered here. It says upload image. So you're going to tap on that. Now you can either take a photo at this point, you can browse a subdirectory, or you can go into your photo library, which is what I'm going to do. This is actually the image that I used. So we're going to click that one and we're going to say use. So it brings it in 
as is. So it brings in the colored image, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. If that's how you want it, you know, you can center it this way. Unfortunately, you can't go up and down, which I was hoping you could. But if you have, say you do have a picture that has more detail, but you just want to use the image in the center, you can make it bigger. So again, if this was all detailed and you just wanted it in the center, you can really blow it up big time. But I like it just as it is. And when you have it zoomed in <laughs> as much as you want, you hit the button, the check mark. Now, when you get to this point, you will get it in color. You can get it in all different kinds of color. Look at this rainbow one. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I love that one. But what we want is a black and white version. This one is like the completed image that I showed you. Okay, so we don't want that one either. We want one that's blank. So we're going to go down here. Oh, no, I don't want to. Okay, where's the black and white non-filled? See, this is different than on my phone. Oh, here. This one says color in. So we'll tap that one. Okay, so at this point, you just have it now in a spiral. Now, at this point, if you don't want this image, you decide, nah, you can remove it, bring back in a different image. You do have some items across the bottom of the screen. So if you think that these lines are going to be too teeny to color in, you can slide it down, which is typically what I do, makes it easier to color in, right? Now, of course, the less rings you make, the less detail you're going to get. So if you were to put it all the way down, yeah, you'd never be able to make out that that is a butterfly. Versus if you go all the way up, come on. You can do it. Yeah, this, this is an older iPad, so um, that would be impossible to color, right? So typically I go a little bit less than what they have preset. And again, depends how much detail you want. I think this turned out okay. Again, not the most detailed in the world, but now you can also click on scale. And this will scale the image for you. So as you, I think, yeah, what this is doing is it is scaling the, the in this case, the butterfly in and out. So I typically leave that one alone. Now lightness. This could be something that may come in handy too. Maybe you want those lines darker, which I do. So whoops, wrong way. So I like them darker. I typically put it all the way that way. Contrast. Again, this is totally up to you, whether you want contrast between the dark lines and the white background. I, again, I typically go up a little bit from the preset in the middle. Okay, at this point, if this is what you want, I think I'm going to go down in the rings just a tad yet. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. Okay, 
you're going to download it then. You can't print it right from this screen. So you will download it, okay? These are free. This is a free website. She does have a little thing here that says buy Betty a coffee. So it does have an area where you can donate to her for providing this website. I did buy her a coffee. <laughs> All right, so do you want to download it? Yes. Okay, now on an iPad, this is the download button up here. And there is our image that got downloaded. So here it is. Now at this point, now that it's downloaded, I have it on my screen to print. I just hit that little square with the up button and I would print it. And I have two printers here, my big color one, my black and white one. So I'll pick the black and white one. Then at this point, I would hit print. If you only want one copy, you know, whatever. You do your typical printer options. So I'm going to hit cancel because I've already printed this out already. Um, and then you hit done. Okay. That's all there is to it. So I will link Spiral Betty's website down in the description, but it is just spiralbetty.com. Again, have the image on your device that you're going to be using to create this. You can just upload it into Spiral Betty, do your adjustments that you want, download it and print it. Pretty simple, huh? I think it's pretty neat. So go ahead and give this a try. If you're one that loves the one color um, coloring, now at this point, let me show you a blank one. If you've never colored in these spirals, I'm going to turn this back off this way. Let me zoom in closer. Okay, you are going to look. Let me get my glasses on. I <laughs> was wondering why I couldn't see. Um, you find the beginning of this spiral. Typically, okay, that was upside down. Typically, it starts over in the lower left somewhere. Okay. Now, you would start coloring. Let me grab, I have a gel pen. I always color these in, in gel pen. Now the thing that's nice, printing it out on paper, you're just turning the paper around as you go around and around. If it's in a book, you have to turn the whole book. <laughs> so you just start coloring at this point. I apologize for the shadows. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine definitely never are and you just keep going around and around and around and you just color in the lines as the lines get wider you color it in thicker right i'm just doing this really fast if you are doing a book like the spiroglyphics books that like Thomas Pavette puts out, his, when you get to the center, see this one just ends. So you are doing every ring as you go around. Some of them, however, have you color, you're actually going to be coloring every other ring because as you get to the center, it loops around and it has you coming back around the other way and you will end up being coloring the rings that are in between the ones that you colored coming in, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So what I do, I will start coloring, you know, starting out just like I did here. And I'll color all the way around. And then usually 
on the right hand side starts the outside ring for when you come back around the second time and you normally will end up on that ring. You'll finish up the picture here but because I don't want to turn my book around twice <laughs> after I come around I start coloring both outside rings at the same time. So I'll color this one and then this one that you colored from over to the left then you color in that one and you end up coloring two rings at the same time. Again, if that makes any sense whatsoever, and if I need to explain it better, let me know. Um, now, however, if you are doing this with alcohol marker or something else that leaves lines, if you stop and then color this one, then go back to this one, you won't want to do it this way because otherwise it's going to leave a line um, after you stop and you color this one. And alcohol markers definitely do that. However, I find alcohol markers very hard to use when I'm doing spiroglyphics. It just bleeds out the, it's outside the lines way too easy. And on most of these, the lines are very thin. So yeah, I tried alcohol markers, did not work for me. All right, I'm gonna zoom back out. Okay, so now that you can see the picture as a whole, again, you start here on Spiral Betty. You're going to just keep going around and around and around and around and around and you end up in the middle and your picture is complete. However, there are some, like I said, that has you finally you go around and around and you're actually doing every other ring because when you get to the middle you loop back around and you come backwards and you're coloring in every other ring from when you came in and again that's why when I get to the outside ring here which is where you would end up and finish I color in both lines okay simple right I, I really hope that didn't confuse anybody and if it did just color it in normal just follow the line around and around and around like I said for spiral Betty that is all you have to do you just color around and around and around you get to the middle and you're done I just wanted to point out the fact that some of them loop back around, like Thomas Pabetz, his, his do. If uh, anybody has those spiroglyphic books. All right, isn't that pretty cool? I thought it was so neat. And like I said, I brought in, you know, a number of pictures to really try this out and see, you know, how they turned out and yeah, I thought they turned out fabulous. Of course, yes, I always use my glitter gel pens, but fine liners work on here. Um, you know, whatever you're used to coloring in fine places with, they'll work. All right. Again, I hope this all made sense. If you need any further clarification, let me know down in the description below. And again, I will leave the link to Spiral Betty's website. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed seeing how you can make your own spiroglyphics, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.